Crypto to Bravo, and we're going to do another video today on our 2021 Polaris 570. Uh, we've got something in today. The box that it came in. We've got Ricochet Off-Road Armor A-Arm slash CV Boot Guard in aluminum here. So we're going to uh, install these today on our 570. I think that's a prudent investment. Uh, a lot of the riding I've done uh, granted, I've only done 50 miles of riding, so, but uh, the 50 miles of riding that I have done has had a lot of rocks, so I think this would be a worthy investment. So, that's enough yapping. Let's see if we can put these bad boys on. All right, so everything mentioned is doing a dry run uh, for fitment on these. We do have some instructions here that I'll share with you. Right here, they say they have some videos on YouTube. So these are the A-Arm slash CV boot guard instructions. So we don't, first step is to remove any factory plastic guards that are attached to the A-Arms, any factory guards attached to the brake calipers will remain in place. So, we don't have any of the plastic guards and then it gives you a hardware placement guide. So first things first, Let's go ahead and uh, do some uh, fitment just to make sure that we're, we're all squared away here. We'll be right back. So it looks to me as if, let me get my two rear guards here. <coughs> all right, these are labeled as rear A-arm guard Polaris. And rear a arm guard Polaris. Now do a dry run fit and see what we come up with here. And I'll bring you along for the ride. I'm thinking right about there is where we want to be. Looks right to me. <coughs> That provides what looks to be some pretty solid protection. Huh. Okay. So that one will go there. And that one will go there. So let's figure out what hardware we need. Alright. So it says here we will need um, 7 8 7 8 clamp and M8 times 20 button head. So let's go ahead and look for that. Also says here that we recommend using a little bit of blue Loctite on each bolt to keep them secure from vibrating loose. Here's our clamps and our bolts. I'm thinking the directions probably could have been a little better. What do you think? But let's read through it. Maybe I'm missing something in interpretation here. Uh, Reverend McEnany, uh, using the blue Loctite, place the guard into the position and install loosely at first. Once each guard has been set and each clamp is affixed into place, you can bring the guard up snug, but do not tighten all the way yet. Once the guard is snug, you will need to turn the wheels to full lock. Checking to make sure there's no contact. Okay. Okay. Let's check it out. We'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. And um, it looks like this is the setup that we're doing. So, we have the guard. We know it goes here. I believe that these two um, button head bolts and these washer heads right here. I think how this goes and these are the shorter bolts here. So these, I believe this is the hardware we need be for the, the short side over here. This is for the deep side coming up through here. And then the plate. So follow with me here and we'll see if this is correct. So this goes like this. Take one of the longer button heads and we put it through the plate here like that. We 
it's going to come up through the A arm like that. So all that noise I apologize for because that was pretty pretty hokey production there, right? Alright. So that goes up through there like that. Alright, so we've got it in. And uh, once I get it somewhat tightened, I will bring you guys in for a peek. So you can get a better idea of how it looks. And we'll go from there. Let's see if we can get this to thread on. We can always come back, take a better look at it. So there we go. We're going to bring you guys in. So, there's how she hooks up. We won't add any Loctite or anything until we've got uh, the whole fitment thing worked out. So we're going to pan back. And uh, let's get into this some more. And each time that I'm able to uh, make an improvement there. Oops, sorry about that. We'll... Um, We'll pan in so you guys can get a look. So the second one, through the bottom, up into the other side, and this is going to be tricky because there is uh, very little room to work with here. So we got those two on. This one. Looks like it lips over the arm, and I'll show you that. I'll show that to you guys here in a minute. And this one lips over the arm over here. And then, uh, with a little luck. Oh, it hurt like hell. I may have split my head open. go in the blooper reel because that hurt like hell man uh, I don't know how I'm not bleeding after that don't go diving into the machine and bust your fucking head like I did and that shit hurt shit hurt like hell all right let's come in and take a gander at it now so you can see that we've got one two He's just loop up over the arms there, the A-arms. And you can see the other two there. So you can see how that hooks up. So we're going to go ahead and do the other side first, just like we did this side. And then we'll come back and uh, do a final fitment on this. And make sure that uh, nothing is rubbing or creating any issues. Just a quick update where we left off just a moment ago. In order to get these... In order to get these uh, bolts in, we're a little too low. So we're going to have to jack her up a little bit. With that being said, let's, uh, let's get her up in the air and create some space. And we will go from there. See if we can work this out without hurting ourselves or anybody around us, right? Because we're knuckleheads. I think that's the correct fit. Let's uh Not the correct fit. Oh, there she is. There we go. You guys get a get to come along, man. It's raw here. 
Here we go. out. So I think we're on to something. We'll be right back. Let's go get some Loctite. Little thread lock. Not too much as you can see. on that one. I don't know. Couldn't tell. I'm sorry, you guys. It is tough. All right, there we go. Tear my damn boot up. Just trying to put this thing on for Christ's sake. We have one side in. So it looks like one side is complete. We'll zoom in to take a look at that. So there they are. Looks like they're all squared away. Looks like we should have plenty of clearance. But I guess we really won't know until we get out there and take it for a little spin. But that's, sorry about that. That's how it looks. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this other side on and uh, see how that goes. So side number two, fairly tight. So we need to, we need to loosen this one up just a hair. Hair turned into quite a bit, didn't it? Let's put a little bit of thread locker on there. I don't think that's overboard. Looks like we have the second side in over here. I spared you all the uh, wrenching. You guys saw what was going on on the other side. It's just a repeat for this side. Um, two bolts there. We do have a little interference right here. And I may have to put something on there because I'm worried about vibration on that bolt. Um, there's nowhere else to put that. 
I don't, uh, maybe I can lay it beside the bolt, but we're still going to get some rubbing there. So that's a place of concern. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Besides that, it looks like everything went in fairly well. We're going to go ahead and take it off of the off of the jack now. Back it out and see what we get. See if we have anything horrible happen. So bear with me for a moment. All right, we got like five minutes of battery left. We're going to, have to switch the batteries out, but I just wanted to give you a quick update. We just took it for a little back and forth spin there. I didn't hear any kind of metal on metal, any grinding. Uh, so I think it's all right. If we look at it from the back, it looks like it's going to give us some some pretty good protection there in the rear. And then, of course, it goes along the bottom and then curls up in the front, which is nice. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. So uh, we'll go ahead and move forward to the front and uh, see how difficult that is. The back wasn't too bad. The only thing that I have a concern about right there where you see that bolt coming up and making contact with the brake line. Now, there is a rubber boot there on the brake line itself and I may go ahead and put something on the top of that bolt too to create less uh, less wear on that but that's really my only concern so far everything seems to have fit very well um, alright we'll go ahead and switch these batteries out and uh, move forward to the front alright now we're ready to put on the fronts you see there Front A arm guard Polaris Sportsman 455-70-2021. So, what we will do, do a test fit in here. We're going to work this up through here and see come up. This might actually be a little more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start these like this and see if um, see if we can start these on and get them to go that way. See if there's enough play on there. What do you think? For at least two of them. So we started them. Let's see if that works out. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's see if we can bump in the, bump in the camera there. Let's try it from the back, and I'll put you guys up front. All right. So I'm going to go around back. Maybe stare at my ugly mug. I don't know if I'm in frame or not. There you go. So it did work out somewhat like that. So let's get the third one. Try it. We'll come a little closer. There we go. We got another one that we're gonna do right there. I think. Is it there? Yeah. So. Those all look like they're on. What do you think? Looks like we may have some some clearance issue on that one side there in the back. Right over there. Uh, right over there. That may have to be uh, pushed over a hair. 
Let's put a little bit of thread lock right there. Right there. And right there. So we got those all locked up. With some thread lock. Now the next thing to see is if there's enough room to get under here and it doesn't look like there is. Pan out just a hair. Okay. Let's see if we can get one of these started. Oops. Sorry if I hit you there. Good. Let's try the the other side. That one's on there pretty good. Let's try to get this last one. I'm gonna have to jack this side up. Wouldn't that be nice? Yep. We're a little. We don't have the uh, clearance for the inside. We look. It looks like we're clearing everything so far. And change our bit size a little bit there. Alright, here we go. friends. Looks pretty solid, but it looks like we bumped the camera. We come up there. So we got one, two, and three. So that looks pretty good, right? Looks good. Looks like there's plenty of travel space. Take a look around back see how that looks. As we look around back, it looks like uh, there's plenty of plenty of um, plenty of clearance for stuff to move and not touch here. It certainly looks good. Like I was saying earlier, the only thing that concerns me so far with this install is that back that right rear back one this feels pretty good. Let's move to the other side. What do you say we prep this one? 987 AFA front A-arm guard Polaris. We prep this one like we did the other one. So. Let's get it prepped up then. bad boys on. What do you think? We'll go to that view there. Let's uh, let's get this third one on. We're gonna have to go in the 
back side again. So bear with me. like we want to have a little, a little space. so initially we're all rigged up here we've uh, kind of we'll match it up to the other side I want to make sure that uh, just like that side we have plenty of space and, oh sorry about that I think if we can move that just a hair right there what do you think? There you go. Looks good. I'm very happy with that. So let's move forward and uh, put a little Loctite on there, a little thread locker, and uh, tighten these bad boys up. And we'll get you a different view in just a minute. All right, I think we've got a little better view there, huh? So let's uh, tighten these up. See what we come up with. but I think she's secure. I think the big thing now is we're a little close to that. I think I'm going to have to move it. Yeah, we're a little closer. So let's um, let's actually pull that. Let's loosen these up. It's a little too close to the tire. Let's move that bad boy back just a hair. Alright. Slide it this way a little bit. Let's uh let's tighten up this bottom one first. back just a hair it is finished well looks like it's finished we're gonna have to uh, bounce it around a little bit make sure that we have plenty of um, clearance on everything that uh, could or might move looks like we should have plenty of clearance but you really won't know until you actually get out on the trail but we're gonna move it around a couple times here and uh, See if there's anything that we can pick up real quick. So bear with me.
No, I put these metal plates on, just making sure they don't hit anything. Look, down here. Look down here. Look down here. Put those plates on. Okay. All right, so we're back. We just took it for a little test ride. I don't feel anything binding. I think we have plenty of clearance. All right, what's going to move here up and down is going to be this corner here. And it certainly looks like we have plenty of clearance up in here. Plenty of clearance over in that corner there. Plenty of clearance there. Over here, you're really just going to get an up and down movement. Looks pretty good so far. I got no complaints there, huh? And if we come over and look at this one. Plenty of clearance here. Plenty of clearance here and here. As you can see. And it doesn't look like we're riding on that nut at all. It does feel like we're a little closer to the nut over here on that one. But in all honesty, I don't know that that makes much difference. What do we got here? Water. So, it looks good. Looks solid. We'll kind of look at the back back there. You can see the guard on the back there and on the back of that side. And it certainly looks like it's got plenty of clearance back there too. So, I hope that install video was at least a little bit helpful. It wasn't overly difficult. Uh, the back was a little more difficult than the front. So let's take a couple pictures. Alright, we're wrapping up today's video. We installed our Ricochet Off-Road Armor A-Arm slash CV boot guards, our front ones. And do our walk around and our rear guards. So we did a couple test rides here around the neighborhood. Nothing really squeaked or rubbed or seemed to be getting in the way of something else. So, so far, it's a success. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't the best install video, but uh, hopefully it gives you at least an idea of what you have to look forward to a little bit. So if you're looking at doing it yourself, you know what you're in for. I think uh, ultimately I might have had... Uh, two hours into this, an hour and 45 minutes, give or take, probably two hours if you include test riding and such, but um, looks good to me. I think it's well worth the money. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and uh, this is Totu Bravo, and uh, until I see you out on the trail again, thanks for watching.